Hey everyone, uh, back at Nottingham Trent University uh, for the JCT Symposium. Remember to hit subscribe for ITS now. Welcome to a special episode about the 28th annual JCT Traffic Signal Symposium, which was held at Nottingham Trent University. The symposium is the major dedicated traffic signal event in the UK. And I have to say that this was a particularly strong conference this year with a good turnout of both conference delegates and exhibiting companies. It was really good to have the opportunity to catch up with so many old friends from across the sector and to meet a few new ones, including some of our viewers. It was really great to hear your feedback about the channel. Thank you. As usual, the symposium was preceded by the Mover User Group, chaired and organised by my IHE colleague, Tony Sharp. This day-long event is held to share knowledge about applications and updates to the mover system amongst signal practitioners. This year was the last that mover stalwart Mark Crabtree will attend before his retirement from TRL, the originators of the mover system, although I wouldn't be surprised to see him at future events. The symposium itself was held over the following two days with a strong conference program the event has a solid history of delivering engineering papers demonstrating examples of innovative traffic signal deployments across a broad range of different types of sites. So in addition to uh, illustrations of large signal installations, such as a throughabout with a particularly challenging constraints for its design, themes this year rightly included more examples of active travel applications including a Cyclops junction in Preston. In addition, the emergence of newer technologies to accurately detect and track pedestrians and cyclists is starting to bring the realistic possibility to manage active transport modes in busy urban environments in a similar fashion to vehicular traffic within UTC environments like Scoot. This year's keynote address titled Transport for Humans was given by Rory Sutherland and Pete Dyson. This was a thought provoking presentation that to a largely engineering based audience challenged engineers to think laterally and imaginatively rather than immediately jumping to engineering solutions to problems. As many in the industry will be aware, the lack of funds for many highway authorities across the UK means that obsolete installations pose an issue to achieving modern levels of efficiency 
without even then looking to try to implement connected services for connected and automated vehicles. The requirements for these emerging technologies will prove to be challenging for many authorities. So plans for the digitization of traffic signal controller configuration and operational data will be interesting to see the level of cooperation which is achievable uh, between competing commercial entities. In addition to the conference papers, a strong exhibition with over 30 exhibitor stands provided an insight to a broad range of companies, including traffic signal companies, equipment and systems providers, and professional organisations. I'd like to take the opportunity to thank John Nightingale and the team at JCT for organising such a good conference again. If you missed out this year, well, where were you? But uh, you'll have the opportunity to see the presentations on their dedicated symposium website, jctsymposium.co.uk. The link will be below. Um, that'll be in the near future. So, lastly, could I please ask you to subscribe to our channel? Lots of you are watching and not doing that and it would really help us to bring you further videos about ITS. Thank you again to everyone who has subscribed. So, thanks for watching. See you next time.